How much more does the bench have to give you guys uh, going forward? Um, we, everybody's got to be better. we got to be better as a group. Um, but, yeah, uh, our job as a bench is to provide energy, and uh, that was tough today. Come on, when we see uh, Duray strolling down the lane for those dunks, uncontested, is that miscommunication of defense or making a choice to... Oh, no, he made, he made a good ball fake. Uh, they got uh, some good shooters on the perimeter. Um, you know, the time and everything, he used the ball fake. Uh, you know, either with the eyes or, you know, with the ball. Uh, you got to go out there and respect those shooters. Uh, you know, he got loose. Having gone through this in game one a year ago, does it help having gone through that situation now? What situation? You know, losing game one and then being able oh, to bounce yeah, back. Yeah. Um, you know, it's hard to steal a game on the road. Um, we know that just from being in the playoffs, let alone uh, the finals, um, dealing with uh, the number one team in the league uh, record-wise. So, um, I mean, you know, coming into this thing, um, you know, our, our mission is to steal one. Uh, you know, two would be, you know, the perfect day. But, uh, you know, we dropped one. Uh, we got another chance on Sunday to get another one. Uh, we'll go from there. How much better does your deep transition defense have to be? Our transition defense? Yeah. Uh, we got to be better on all all parts of the game. Uh, got to be more physical, better communication. Um, we definitely got to contest more shots. I uh, thought they got some pretty wide open looks. <laughs> They missed a couple of them, but, you know, they made a lot of them in the second. Normally they are a team that will cough it up. Can you put more ball pressure on these guys to force them out of their comfort zone? Without a doubt. Like I said, we have to definitely rev up the defensive pressure uh, while still uh, continuing to stay solid. Uh, Got to do a good job of just playing playing without fouling. I thought we did a great job of that today, but, uh, you know, we definitely let them get some easy ones. They had 42 points in, in the paint by halftime. Is that because you guys are trying to take away their perimeter game? Um, I don't know. I think that came uh, a lot of it came from just turnovers. They capitalized on turnovers today. Jump when your offense is struggling the way that it was at times tonight. How do you keep that from affecting your defense? Uh, well, um, we definitely have to try and slow their breakaway down. Um, like I said today. Uh, you know, they, they, they play within their numbers. And, um, you know, we pay for that, which we have to do a better job taking care of the ball. Um, but it's tough, man, when you got uh, the type of team that they have and trying to cover all those guys on the perimeter, uh, opens the lane right up. Uh, it's hard on defense, but we got to do better. We got to get better shots, keep our floor balanced, uh, make sure that if we do miss shots and they get out on the break that we can stop them. You guys like um, something that you guys have been great at all season long? Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe given the fact that you didn't have the floor balance or is that a correctable thing? No. Um, like I said, that's one of those things where we missed shots today. You know, um, we also had a lot of turnovers where it was nothing they did special. Uh, a couple of mishandles, uh, miscommunication, guy thinking a guy's going to cut and he doesn't. A uh, little stuff like that. Um, we'll just chalk it up to having a week off and come back and try and win games. Thanks,